When deputies arrived, they found Deputy Darren Goforth face down in a pool of blood, dead from multiple gunshot wounds. He was laying in the parking lot near his patrol car. They identified him by his unit number and from knowing him. They also found around the body 15 40 caliber Aguila shell casings. They contacted a witness at the scene who said that he had pulled up at the gas station with his children in the car. He was getting out of the car when he heard gunshots. He turned and saw a black male with bald head shooting into a deputy's back who was down on the parking lot. They watched the video and saw that deputy go forth, came out of the convenience store, approached his patrol car, and as he got a few feet away from it, they saw a dark skinned male with, who was bald with red shorts and a white t-shirt run up behind the deputy who clearly did not see him or hear him coming and shot him in the back of the head. Deputy Goforth fell to the ground and the male stood over him and fired several more times into the back of his head and his back. Deputies went and got a search warrant for the garage and inside found uh, the white cooler and a 40 caliber Smith & Weston pistol in the blue baseball bag. <laughs> Alongside it was a box of Aguila 40 caliber bullets, the same brand of casings that was at the scene. They took the gun to the firearms lab. Ballistics testing was done on the weapon and it was determined that it was the gun that filed, fired the cartridges at the scene, the 15 cartridges. The gun magazine holds 14 rounds and there was one in the chamber, so he unloaded the entire weapon into Deputy Goforth.